Congratulations. It's an honor to be here with you on this special day. We uh, had many wonderful times together in Japan, and I can think of no greater cause to be united in than being joined together as husband and wife. Well, in Japan, as missionaries, we were saving souls, right? We were gathering God's children so they could return to live with Him. And uh, actually, that's the same cause for which you're married, is to continue to come to know God and to love Him and to begin a family. In John chapter 4, verse 8, it says, He who loveth not knoweth not God, for God is love. That's kind of the romantic version of marriage. It's about love. There are others who will say marriage is about friction. <laughs> That's how you learn love. So when you bring two very different people together, and then you ask them to love each other. And in the process, you come to know God, and you come to know what real love is. There was one Valentine's Day on the mission. Sister Tan wrote to me, and she said, President Budge, I learned a lot about love today, not because it's Valentine's Day. Well, she had a companion at the time that was maybe a little hard to love. <laughs> they had an appointment, but it snowed, and the trains weren't running, and in fact, there wasn't a train near the location. So they decided to walk an hour and a half each way, and the family forgot they had the appointment, and they weren't home. And so after walking an hour and a half through the snow, they trudged back another hour and a half. During that time, those three hours, I got to know my companion. We had three hours to talk. And I learned to love her. And she learned to love me. And I learned about God's love for his children. Bobby had a special thing happen on his mission. He wrote to me that his, I believe, on your mother's maiden name, or her face is Kudo. And uh, his brother Paul was serving in Osaka. And he met the stake president, and the stake president was President Kudo. And he started talking. He said, I also have a brother who's serving in Tokyo. And his companion is Elder Kudo. And the stake president said, that's my son. Bobby wrote to me that week and said, I think I found one of my long lost brothers. Elder Kudo, and I don't think it's a coincidence that my brother is with President Kudo and I'm with Elder Kudo, and uh, they felt, he said, I felt of God's love for me and my love, God's love for my mother. But we had a symbol on our mission. It was an eight, and that eight stood for unity, hearts knit together in unity and love, and also eternity and the atonement of Jesus Christ. In just a minute, your cousin Jack is going to come forward and give you a ring that you can exchange. And that ring has the same symbolism. And it also symbolizes that your hearts will become knit together in unity and in love as you go forward.
my heart is the exception to the pain you know so don't fear your reflection when i hold you close just show me hope and show me fear from your heart that's beating you're not alone in your tears cause when love is fading and the world is sleeping this promise i'm keeping i'll be Ha ha ha!